So yeah, everyone ready for a two, three, five lab that is working with files, working with files. Yeah. So I already started. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I already started this lab. You can see the lab is ready. So here in this lab, uh, you have one hour to do. Uh, you can see this particular one, create a backup file using tar. We are going to learn about tar. And second one is that we are going to backup using date, time, and so and so, and transfer the backup file to another folder also we are going to use. So there is a 30 minutes to complete this exercise. Let us do that. So first task is very simple, connect to the server, connect to the server. So this is task one, and then we will create a backup file. So how to log into your server, get the details, show, and say download PPK. You have this uh, public IP. So get ready everyone with the task one. And now what you can do is you can open putty and just say run, paste the public IP and as a search auth credential browse EC2, the same procedure which you have used. So yes, so with this, if you have logged in successfully, task one is complete. Now we are ready for task two. This is most important. Task one is common for all the exercises which is there in lab. So ready everyone? Yes, sir. Task two. Yeah, anyone wants me to wait? Task one, completion. Yeah, no answer. It's okay. So now in this task, you will create a backup for the entire file structure. So here, if you see, I'll just wait. Okay. So here, if you see, you say LL, there is a company A. If you say LL, there are several files. LL company A. It will show all the files. There are several folders. If you want to know recursively, recursively, LL hyphen capital R. Okay. It will tell you all different files and folders which are there in your home directory. In your home directory. Yes, it will show. Understood till now? So like this, this is the entire structure of files which are there. Several files, sorry, several folders and several files under company A. So now we need to take a backup of all the things. Backup. So when you say PWD, it will be ec 2 hyphen user. LL hyphen R company A. Also I have shown you, this is the expected output, all the things which has been shown here. Right? Yes, sir. So now, now here, this is up to here. So LL, you can see here. Let us learn about how to run this backup. Up to this is over. Point number 26. Point number 26. Let us learn about how to create a tar backup. A tar backup. This one I am highlighting. Ready everyone to do this particular 26 point? Yes, sir. Yeah. I explain once again. C for create. Hyphen C. C for create. Please understand. V for verbose. Verbose. F for file display. There are some more options which are there. Like S. P and Z. Not very important. Z is compression. Basically, you should remember. Z is nothing but GZIP compression. Comp compression which is there. So it will uh, copy. I will. It will make several files. It will back up all the files within company A. Within company A, the source is your tar file. Company A dot tar dot GZ, and the folder which is called is completely company A. If you specify this one. The entire company A folder, which contains several folders and files, will be backed up. Will be backed up to backup.companya.gz. So, if you want, you can just type it or you can copy it. So, yeah, what uh, immediately if you say it will do backup of all the things. 
and a file called a file called backup.company.r.gz with size of 364 bytes is created. Is created. Did you all see? Yes, sir. A file, backup file is created. Suppose if you delete or modify or anything in these files, still this file is there. This is the backup file. So expected out output, when you say LL or LS, you will get this file. You will get this file. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, backup.company A, this is what which you get. With this, you learned about how to create a backup using TAR, using TAR. Right? Now task number three. Task number three. Log the backup. You will create a file for logging the date time backup tar which was created. This file indicates that when you have created backups could be useful to avoid unnecessary backups in future. So it will record everything. So go to company A. Go to company A. So you will get something like this. And then touch. You are going to create a CSV file. Let us do that. So here, you are in point number 28, CD. If you want, you can give complete path slash home easy to user. Otherwise, you can say simply company A. Company A. Still the same. If you say PWD, it is exactly the same. The same thing should match. Home easy to user, company A. Expected output. So, he is asking to create a backup, a touch file in shared folders, in shared folders. You see this one, you see this one, there is a shared folders already, shared folders. Within this folder, you want to create a file called as backups.csv. So you can say just touch. It has created already. If you want, you can check. LL shared folders, capital S, and say tab. You can see that there is a zero bytes file of backups.csv has been created. Okay. Understood? This is point number 29, which is done. And we verified that there is a file called as backups.csv without any data. Right? So you want to add some data which is called as 25, whatever is there in the quote, okay, uh, to this uh, particular file, backup.csv, to this backup.csv, right. This is a pipe which we are using, T pipe, right, which has been done, which has been done. Yeah. You can view the contents of the file. You can view the contents of the file. You want to ask LL first. Uh, what is that? Shared folders. Not slash shared folders. Backup.csv. There is one file with 46 bytes. You want to view the contents of the file. You can ask for cat. Shared folders and say the folder name as backups.csv, backups.csv. You should see the content like this. I'm highlighting this, the same thing here also. 25th August 2021, the same thing has been highlighted. I mean, the backup was taken on so and so date on 25th August 2021. that was taken on so and so date and it is highlighted. You, you can see this one, echo, the thing which has been highlighted is entered into this file, 1659. You see here, whatever you have addressed here, that has been entered. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, you can see this one. Now the fourth task, if you have done so, the fourth task, 
see this one fourth task is move the backup file just a second so you can ask pwd you are in company a folder and we want to move this backup file backup file see just ask pwd you are in already in company a only but ensure that you are in company a you want to bring the backup file which is there in your home folder to current folder to current folder what you can do move dot dot slash what's the backup file backup dot company dot gz to to uh, to a different folder called as ia you see here ia is there ia you can specify that ia and say slash so the backup is now moved the backup is now moved to ia folder it is already done okay so what you can do ls you can say dot dot slash ia dot dot, dot. Yeah, like this. So there is an error over there. Don't give like that. Dot ls space dot dot space i a slash. You should get something like a backup dot file which is there. Like this i a. Understood? If you see that backup file, you are done. I mean backup file is moved. The backup file is moved to a different location. Understood? This is, uh, I think, uh, this is the end of this lab. The commands, company A, IA folder. The B is in, not in the current folder and so and so. It's not there in the root, it is there in the IA folder. So, that's all about this lab. So, here we understood about the star command. How to create a backup file how to create a backup file and we also learned about how to move this backup file from a different location to a different location. We also tried to identify a backup file identity, I mean the date and time etc. also in this particular one.